one of the things that I did not mention when I talked about leading to bad decisions, missed opportunities, fear of technology. There's also a lack of trust. And when you are running on emotions, you may not trust people around you and you can't run a business on your own. There are always going to be somebody, other people in your business. Welcome to Biz Glitch number 142. <laughs> It's May 21st, 2024. This is a year-long project in a leap year with 366 glitches or mistakes that we have made or we've seen other people make that we share with you every single day of this leap year. And what is today's glitch, Lynn? Today is another continuation from the emotions category. Emotions isn't really a category, it's a mindset category. But we have talked in previous glitches, just in the last couple of days, emotions being a part of the decision making. This now is talking about, do you let your emotions interfere with your confidence, with your oh. stewardship as a business owner? <laughs> do you? Oh boy. So when, I got some stories to share, but I will keep my mouth shut <laughs> when it comes to emotions emotions as much as all the positive emotions make us happy then there are the emotions that we talked about the other day doubt and fear that could be construed as negative but really could protect us but the thing is when we're emotional and we are uh, a little out of control that could keep us from our full potential mm -hmm. because we're so busy with worrying about something and all the distractions versus the the made up stories of things that aren't really happening in the present moment. Can I jump in with yeah. one of those stories? Yeah. I was just sharing with Linda over lunch that there was an Instagram post from a woman that we follow. She shares all kinds of, you know, nightmare stories about bad employers, bad bosses, and so forth. And today's post was a person who wrote in sharing how they've worked at this job. It's a customer service face front facing, front counter type of position. And they're at work, punched in and ready to start working at nine o'clock every morning and they've been there doing that for three months and one day they came in and saw as they came into the shop the manager was at the counter helping a customer and when the manager was done and the customer left the manager turned on the employee and said you're supposed to be punched in at 8 45. meanwhile for three months that same manager had been signing off on timesheets for 9 a.m and never elicited this criteria 8 45 and of course there was no mention of an employee manual in this instagram post and i said i told Linda the story as we were having lunch and she her immediate response was, oh, he was just angry mm -hmm. because he had to deal with the customer. 